Y'all ready to talk about your sun ultra moon for today? So let's see, I got a format. I have a format for how I do all my vlogs uh, and things that could be spoilery, okay? So if you see this, if you see this pop up on the screen, that means what I'm talking about is potentially a spoiler for the game. So if you don't want to know about it, then go ahead and mute the video or skip ahead uh, to when this is no longer in the video. Now there's gonna be two kinds of spoilers. I've realized there's, I can talk about this in ways where I don't spoil anything within the story, but I'm talking about something that I've experienced with the game, okay? So I'm gonna have this on screen. This will be on screen when it is a story spoiler, okay? Now, this will be on the screen when it's something that I experienced that I think could be like a spoiler for you playing the game and you you coming across something. For example, let's see. Let's see. Let's go ahead and test it out. There's something in the game. I think it was like... I'm going to get it wrong. I know I'm going to get it wrong. It's, it's whatever. It's called like the Rotom Finder or the Poke Finder. Something like It's basically a camera. It's basically you, you taking pictures of Pokemon. It's going to have this kind of spoiler there, okay? That's that's something that's not, as far as I know, it's not story-based. But it is like a gameplay spoiler, and it's something that I experienced. So that's going to be my experience sto uh, spoiler. Uh, this will be on screen just like the story-based spoiler or the story-focused spoiler warning. Skip ahead to whenever it's no longer on the screen uh, if you don't want to be spoiled. You've been warned. You have been warned. There's, uh, there, there's no way I can talk about this and not spoil something. So you have been warned. Let's get started. So if you know me, you know one of my strengths is that I can I can vividly describe something that will have you remember how I felt about it forever. One of my weaknesses is I won't be able to remember it. So what I did during the course of the game was I basically tweeted out um, I tweeted out some of my thoughts on everything that I've experienced so far. I think I played maybe I want to say three hours. I'm, I'm maybe three and a half around there. That's that's how much I've played so far. So these I'm gonna have screenshots of my tweets and I can recount what I was thinking as we as we go back through this. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if I can find the first tweet. Okay, so very first off, right at the top I made my character. Uh, and one of the things that they've done that's different from Gen 6 Pokemon X and Y, uh, you can make your character and you, there's instead of, I think it was three, three different skin tones, there's four different skin tones. There, it's, if I remember correctly, it's ghost white. It's, uh, I guess, I guess if you're mixed with white and European. <laughs> and then it's it's fair skinned and then it's jet black so my very first tweet was damn why I gotta be jet black I can't just be light skinned like it's cool that they, they're representing uh, more skin tones but Jesus Christ can we get something in between ghost white and jet black cause I'm still not represented I'm still not represented I'm not mad about it it's just it's, it's whatever like I genuinely don't care but we need more skin tones <laughs> Then after that, like almost immediately after that, you meet mom. You meet mom and mom is light skinned. Why is mom light skinned and object black? How dark is my dad? How dark is dad? <laughs> How dark is dad? And then so the character, uh, your character, he's in the room and there's so much stuff from Gen 1. There's so much stuff from Gen 1 in there. Uh, on his bedspread, he has, it's like a, a silhouette of pincer, I believe it was. Uh, there's a large Snorlax. It, it's a. It's most. It's pretty much a beanbag, but it's in the shape of Snorlax. If I'm not mistaken, there was something Pikachu in there, which makes sense. You know, Pikachu is pretty much the mascot for the series. And then there was one other thing that I can't remember offhand. And the whole time I was like, "Yo, I bet he's from Kanto. I bet he's from Kanto." Lo and behold, you you find out that you have moved to Alola from Kanto. And it's represented mostly by you having a Meowth that's not from Alola. There's two different forms of Meowth, uh, for those of you who don't know. Uh, there's the original Meowth, the one, you know, that we're familiar with in the cartoon. And then there's Alolan Meowth. I'm, I think it's dark. I don't remember offhand. I don't feel like looking it up right now. I think he's a dark type. And when I saw that, I was like, yo, I forgot that they even said that there's, there's Alolan forms. Remember, I didn't play Sun or Moon. Uh, so me playing this is literally my first step into Gen 7. I, I experienced that. I was like, yo, I forgot there's so much stuff in this gen that's new 
it, like I haven't experienced it all. So like I'm 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 truly about to experience all of that, just all of it raw. So my mom says, "Go, uh, go, go, leave, leave the house." <laughs> mom says, "Leave the house," and I'm like, "Yo, where's the front door? Is this the front door?" And I accidentally walked into mom's room. I think it was. Yeah, I I I got lost in the house and I accidentally walked into mom's room. I was like, "Nope, let me get the hell out of here before I find some shit I don't want to find out about my mom because she looks kind of bad." Mom look. Mom is looking kind of bad, not gonna lie. And then they, they introduced the starter. I thought, yo, this, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say how, even though I have the spoiler text, I'm not gonna say how they introduced spoilers. I want you to experience that girl. And I said, yo, in all of the games, in all of the games so far, this is easily the most clever way to introduce the starter. This, this right here takes the cake. This one, top tier. Top tier starter choosing. It's definitely better than black and white, that's for sure. <laughs> Uh, I've, and I realized I like a lot of the sound in this game. I realized I specifically like the sound when you capture or obtain a new Pokemon. It, sound, it sounds amazing. That's real talk. That's what I wanted it to sound like throughout every game. Not the instruments per se, but the the rhythm at which it happens. It, it's very slightly different. It's slightly different than the entire rest of the series, and it's perfect. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Do it again. Thumbs up. So I start playing the game and I realize I've only been looking at the top screen for this entire time. And I'm like, yo, what's wrong with my bottom screen? There's no way this thing is broken. There's no way my DS, my 3DS is broken. What's wrong? We'll get to that in a second. And then I got into the first battle. I got into the first battle of my starter. And at the end it had a thing that said, what did it say? Does it say grooming? I don't remember what it says, but it's a little thing that pops up on the bottom screen when everyone's getting the experience and all that. And you can press, I think it's the Y button. And after the battle, you, you'll you basically groom the Pokemon. And I thought about it. I said, I am not doing this at the end of every battle. This is strenuous. It's like uh, Pokemon and me. It's like Pokemon and me from Gen 6. And it's cool. It's really cool. I'm just not taking the time to do that every battle. If they get, if they, if they start to sweat, they gonna be sweaty until we go to the Pokemon Center. If they get their hair messed up, sorry, I don't know what to tell you, fam. So then I accidentally pressed the what's it called, the summary screen to look at the stats. Oh no, no, no! I'm sorry, not the summary screen. Um, in battle, I noticed that on the bottom screen it shows the two Pokemon, you know, it's, it's like a, a digital version of what's happening in the fight, and it had little little symbols pop up by it, I was like, yo, what does this do? And naturally I touched the button, because I'm hard-headed, I'm a badass. <laughs> but I pressed the button, and it showed the differences between the stats, the stat changes. Um, Let's see, a Pokemon used, what was it? A Pokemon used... I think it was, I want to say it was either Leer or Growl, one of the two. Used those against my Pokemon, and then they had the symbol. I was like, oh my god, it keeps track for me. I'm going to be lazy, and for the rest of this playthrough, I'm not keeping track of nothing. I barely even care to be good with. <laughs> and then we got, we, we well, who is that? A rival? How? How? I'm calling him How. I don't know how to say his name. I'm calling him How. His theme sucks. Uh, aside from, I want to say Wally, I've never really seen a rival that had a bad theme. How was the first? How's the theme is trash. It's horrible. The the normal trainer battle music is way better. Way better. Holy hell. Jesus Christ. And then someone made a Reggie reference. I want to say it was P Professor Kukui. I would say Professor Kukui did a My Body is Ready reference. Stop. Stop, Nintendo. Game Freak, don't do not do this again. Don't do this again. It's not 2006. It's not 2006 anymore. Cut it out. Cut it out. Okay, so why the bottom screen didn't have anything on it yet is because when you get the Pokedex, uh, remember, Rodom could get in the Pokedex. It could be the Rodom Dex. And I was like, oh, snap, I completely forgot. I completely forgot the Rodom Dex was even a thing they announced. And Rodom shows up on the bottom screen. He acts as a map and then he handles a whole bunch of other crap, I'm guessing, that you can do. So I'm like, okay, cool. 
And then it hit me. Like, I, at, at this point, I had been playing for about two hours. I've been playing for about two hours. I'm not speeding through the game or anything. I'm, I'm seriously taking the time to play this. It's, a, it's an adventure game that I haven't played before. I'm playing it just like every other series. Not just every other Pokemon game, but every other adventure series that I play, uh, I'm playing it the same way. I'm taking my time, learning about things that are happening around me, and becoming one in their environment. I've realized, at this point, um, I was having fun. I'll say that I was having fun, but I've been babysat for two hours. I've been babysat. They, they, there was literally up to this point, nothing that they said, all right, chill, go do what the hell you want. There's, there's nothing you have to do. Go do what you want. There was nothing. Uh, the very first thing was the trainer school. They said, okay, chill. You, here's something that you have to do, but I'm going to let you figure out how to do it. I'm going to let you figure out how you complete this goal and I was like okay okay I can I can I can manage this I can I can do all the things I need to do for this goal and even then it was very like I was locked in to this the trainer school they didn't let I don't think they let me leave I didn't really try <laughs> but uh, more or less that was all I can do there was nothing else I can do I can go home and heal and then come back to the trainer school it's about it but on the plus side this trainer school is the only trader school that truly teaches you how to play the game. It teaches you not not how to play Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, how to play Pokemon. It, it teaches you it teaches you a very bare bone version of battle mechanics, status ailments, using items, type advantages, things like that. And it, it, it if you're not at the proper level and you haven't gotten your team up to where it needs to be, it's trader school or rock your socks. <laughs> this trader school will give you the business if that's the case. One thing I've then learned is that there's no poison damage when it comes to uh, battle. I'm sorry, not battle, walking. Uh, what was it? My starter got poisoned and I tested it out. Because I was like, okay, I want to see what this animation looks like. Because normally they do it in a way that makes sense. I want to see what it looks like now. There's no poison damage while walking. So you can walk, you don't have to heal them up. That might have been something that existed in Gen 6. I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention to that to that extent. So that might that might have already been a thing. So then I caught Zorua. I caught Zorua. And if if there's one thing you need to know about me, it's that starting with Gen 5. I stopped playing Pokemon so much. I stopped being so into Pokemon. Gen four was my big my big generation. So Gen five forward, uh, there's a lot of stuff that I still don't naturally pick up on. A lot of people will be like, "Oh yeah, duh, that's common knowledge." Uh, blah blah blah. This this shit isn't common knowledge to me. Okay, so calm it down. I I caught a Zorua, and I had it in the lead Pokemon of my team. It was the lead of my team. Uh, for a few battles I was doing because my, my starter got up there pretty high but I needed Zorua to be up there with them and I threw Zorua out and Zor and, and well I got into a battle and it said that my lead Pokemon was my starter so I go to pick the moves because my starter actually had a type advantage against this Pokemon I was fighting and none of the moves were this, what the starter had I was like yo what the f*** just happened what just happened? And then I thought about it. I said, we, we have Zoro in the lead, don't we? I'm sick. <laughs> I'm sick of Zoro. I'm sick of Zoark. I'm tired. I am tired of them pulling, what is it, imposter or prankster? Whatever the hell. I'm tired of them pulling that on me. It's upsetting. It's upsetting. Okay, that's where the tweet stopped because I picked it up this morning before going to work. And let me see. What, what all happened? Basically, I'm set up to go to, against the first island trial. That's what it's called. I'm going up against the first island trial, I guess. Uh, actually, once I put this camera down, I'm going to go play that now. And that's what I'm about to do. I'm, I'm, they said, I thought at first it was four island trials. Someone told me it was only four instead of the eight gym leaders. But then here it's eight of them. So I'm like, okay, that's not so bad. It, it, honestly, to me, now that I think about it, it sounds like it's a gym leader battle. The only catch is they're calling it by a different name. Because realistically, they could set up gym leader battles. I'm sorry, they could set up island trials to function the same way as gym leader battles. Just give it a different name. So it's not so bad. That doesn't sound so bad to me. Like I said, I haven't played it just yet, but that's what it sounds like. With the goal that they give me for the first island trial, 
that's what it sounds like. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna look at that in just a few minutes to see that that's what it actually is. Uh, anything else? Anything else? I'm glad you guys are happy to see that I'm actually giving it a chance. I, I, I 100% never said that I didn't like Gen 7 when it was just Sun and Moon. All I said was that I haven't experienced it, but it looks like it's not catering towards me. I can't say it's a bad generation if I haven't played it, just like I can't say it's a great generation if I haven't played it. All, we, all I was saying is that it, it felt like it definitely wasn't catering towards what I like in Pokemon. So, like I said, I'm not too far in, so I, can't, I still can't make that judgment. Uh, I'm going to go play for a few hours, and I'll see you guys on stream. I'm, I'm doing a surprise stream. Or I'm planning a surprise stream. I don't know if you guys are going to be ready for it. But we will see. We will see. Uh, let me put this camera down, and then go play. Oh, I left my alcohol in the car. Oh, I need to go get that. I'm going to put this camera down, go get my drink, and then we're going to play. Or I'm going to play a little bit of Ultra Sun. All right, guys. <sighs> Here we go. Let's, 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 let's play the Cut it out. 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 